So, what's up guys? On YouTube, game anyone and watching live on Twitch TV. Ha ha ha, because I'm gay. I'm running to GT4. Wow, I am Rhino GT4, and this is my newest Let's Play of Tourist Trophy. Spin-off of Gran Turismo series. We have life after OBS crashed. So, I don't really know what else to say. It's Tourist Trophy. I'm going to just input my name here. Rhino. Let's proceed with this name. And I'm 5 foot 10, I think, so let's just go with that. So yeah, Taurus Trophy, it's basically Gran Turismo 4 on motorcycles. That's it. It's a relatively short game, but hey, it's cool. So uh, yeah, uses all the like engine and data and menus and HUDs and all that shit from GT4. But pretty cool game, auto save, I'll be turning that off. Yeah, don't remove the memory card, got all that shit out of the way, skip the intro, because I've already got the intro recorded. And shit. And here we go, Taurus Trophy. Before we go to the Taurus Trophy mode, I'm just going to set up my options here. Because there's actually a couple things I have to explain. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get everything out of the way. Manual transmission, of course. Normal display. Put failure conditions on. Basically what that means is, is if I go off track or crash or I think hit another bike. Oh, best line off. Um, I get penalized. So it's like uh, doing the missions in GT4. So yeah, screen. Gonna go 16 by 9, oh, of course. And I will be going to progressive scan in the ra in the races and shit, but I'm not going to change it now because it fucks my recording if I do. So I'll do that later. Picture quality, I don't need to worry about. Sound. Let's just turn down the race music for what? Ha ha ha. Anyways. And replay music because I'll be showing replay some at some point. Oh, and arcade doesn't matter. Uh, controllers. Here we go. Pro mode. This is the interesting part about this game. So, there are three gameplay styles, basically. There's standard, which is just your usual X-square, gas and brake, and you don't have to do anything else. It's that. There's a tucking system in this game because motorcycles that reduces drag and provides more straight line speed. Now, I believe Semi-Pro is, um, is you have to manually tuck the rider, but you still have full braking, and Pro is you have to manually tuck the rider, and the braking is split between Square and uh, R2. Square for the front brake, R2 for the rear brake. I'm going to use Pro because I'm a cool kid. All right, so uh, that oh, I need to turn auto save off. By and by that I mean restrict it. All right, that's all good. Just make sure my controls are what I want them to be. Gas square, yep. Mm-hmm. Rear brake R2. Shifting on the one shoulder buttons. Talk L2. Yep, everything looks to be in order. All right. I am destined for many crashes, it's gonna happen. Why do you hate me, Ludo? Huh? Why? Anyways, Taurus Trophy mode. Just like GT4 Arcade doesn't fucking matter, because it's just a quick race mode. With no uh, completion incentives at all. So, welcome to the world of Taurus Trophy. Let's learn basics of riding motorcycles, aka let's get a license. That's what I'm going to be doing in this segment. So you see we have our little uh, TT mode menu. And uh, so let me just go quick three, th quickly through these. We've got the practice mode, which you just hot lap as long as you fucking want on the track. Photo mode, take some awesome pictures. You've got your garage, your garage. Which, uh... 
yeah, you get all the settings. Change your bike number for racing bikes, which is awesome because I'm gay like that. Get your bike details, completion status, save options. Change your riding form, which is also one thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to use presets because I really don't want to get into specifics, so, um. I'm going to use the lean body mode. So yeah, uh, change settings, and then we get to our bike list, which I actually start off with a bike in this game because there's one very important thing about this game that uh, is definitely different from the GT series. There's no currency. You get your only source of winning bikes is through winning bikes through licenses, the challenge mode, which is pretty much the dealership in this game. I'll get into that after we get the uh, licenses, but you're going into permission for that model. It's basically a mixture of the dealership and the mission mode from GT4. I don't know. It's interesting and cool. And then we have our race events, which as you see there's only 22 in this game, so it's going to be a lot shorter than GT4. So anyways, Let's get started with what we're actually going to do with this first segment, and that is going to be the license. There are four licenses in this game, split into Novice, Junior, Expert, and Super. For some reason they decided to give them actual names instead of B-A-I-B-I-B-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
It's a big naked bike, and it is much faster than the fucking scooters. So this one's kind of the same uh, general idea, except I'm also going to have to have some throttle control as well, because also this is my uh, f the first test I actually failed, and I don't know how to get rid of the ghosts in this game. So this one, not only do I use the rear brake, I also have to stay... I cannot be full throttle. One, because this bike is so powerful, I'll just spin the rear tire. And two, because it accelerates too quickly. So yeah, it's not, I kind of stay about 85-90% to 90 throttle through it. So it's just all about just not being full throttle, riding the rear brake and getting the gold, which I did, barely. Like I said, some of these get a little difficult. Not a lot. And here we go. The bane of my existence is in the novice license. Slalom tests. This one, this one requires some uh, pretty good aim. Gotta stay full throttle, gotta stay tucked in. At no point, I think to get the gold, pretty much at no point can you lift off the throttle and un or untuck. You can probably untuck just to get slightly more grip, but yeah. You also have to take a very tight line, and if you so much as touch a cone, or even think about touching a cone, you fail. And, well, it's a slalom. Not really much else to say other than it's a slalom, and I'm terrible at slaloms, and I hate slaloms. Slalom, slalom, slalom. Boat made it through there. So our first major cornering uh, test, other than the circle track, it is the hairpin at the end of the east course of Motegi. Now this one is kind of a toughie. If you uh, probably remember from GT4 in the BMW around here, I struggled a shit ton. It took me like a half hour to go to the test there. This one not so much, but this was definitely the first really difficult test for me. But I managed to get it, like I did all the other licenses, because I'm that awesome. I don't know. In seven, Corning Basics two. This is another pretty damn difficult test. It is around turns three, four, and five at Laguna Seca, and um, it's it's a toughie. It, it takes a couple runs just kind of get used to the bike and the track, figure out its behaviors like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, had a little bit of wheel spin there exiting turn three. Just kind of looking back at my ghost to make sure I'm hopefully at least uh, over a quarter of a second faster than it. Turn five is really important. Got to get a good acceleration off. And there we go. I barely uh, squeaked out a gold on that one, but yeah, that one is quite difficult to gold because you have to be pretty precise in your cornering there. In eight, this one not quite as difficult as in you have to be really good. It's difficult in the fact that it's at El fucking Capitan. Yeah, you know that track that was crazy for cars, put motorcycles on it. Because why not? What's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? No, no. So you see, this test was not very well executed. Had a big slide entering the turn there, but managed to get a good exit. And here, just kind of tap the rear brake to give me, slow me down just enough, and there we go. <laughs> Excuse me for coughing. Gold by two tenths. N9. This one's a fun one for me because it's at high speed ring. It's the uh, turns two and three. Is it? No, no. It's the first turn. And turn two. Excuse me. But this one took a couple tries just because I've. it's kind of easy to fall off the bike here. If you're not paying attention to the uh, banking changes, the bike is a little unsettled. Damn it! When uh, yeah, with, when the baking changes, 
like that. And you know how progressive banking turns these are. That, that was terrible English. Just gotta be careful. Keep fast. And really, this test is kind of easy. This, this this test is pretty easy. Just gotta stay on the bike, and all will be fine. So finally, our graduation test. Every graduation test is gonna be a full lap time trial. This one is at Autumn Ring Mini, and a Yamaha TMX. I didn't know there were sports scooters, but apparently there are. Because you know. Gotta gotta be sporty in a fucking scooter, but yeah. Anyways, this eh, not really difficult. I mean, yeah, it's a full lap trial, so you know you just gotta get used to. <laughs> excuse me, again, running a full lap around this track in a scooter. It's not that bad. This thing actually handles fairly well, so for a scooter, just make it around the turns. The bus stop is a pretty interesting place. Kind of jumped over the curb there. That's not really the best thing to do. Swing out a wide a little bit. Swung out a little too wide. Missed the apex on the last turn. But <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, if you want a timeline, I'm recording the commentary for this like a couple hours for the second it goes out, and I've been battling a cold. But yeah. Anyways, we got the gold. So with that, we get our novice license. Qualified rider, Rhino. There we go. We've passed the novice class. So, our prizes for the licenses. First off, we're just getting the license with bronze. We get a bunch of riding gear. Shown there. For silver, we get more riding gear. Game just throwing gear at me. But it's cool. Customize what my rider wears. It's always nice. And finally, for gold, we get more gear. But just two helmets, that's it. And also, for getting all gold, we get a, we actually get a bike. A Honda CB400SS, race modded. So our first prize bike is a racing bike. And for all racing bikes, we get to choose our own number between 5 and 99. I explain, I'll explain later, later in LP why 1 through 4 can't be chosen. But as always, I choose 91, because that's the number I use in racing games, because it's my birth year. That's the only reason. But there we go. That is the first license, all gold. We finished a quarter of the licenses. So let's just check out our new bike. Da -da -da. To the Honda CB400 SS, and there it is. I was trying to figure out how to fucking rotate it. There we go. Nice little uh, rotisserie roll. And with that, stay tuned for more Tourist Trophy. Oh yeah, I was showing off my uh, Skywave here as well. But anyway, stay tuned for more Tourist Trophy and the next license.